go. So yesterday I was on this dog walk along this route, um, just out of side of East Morling, uh, left a road called Rocks Road, heading towards uh, Sweets Lane, and I noticed um, the UK's most dangerous plant. If you touch it or brush against it, the sap will take any um, ability in your skin to protect you from UV radiation. <laughs> So even the slightest bit of sunlight UV will cause severe burns to your skin and the problem can last months, even years. So, but I noticed this, it's a giant hogweed um, and I just noticed it uh, along the, the, the footpath that goes around the perimeter of this field. Um, spotted it straight away and uh, took some photographs and posted it as a warning online. Um, I was asked, is it a danger to dogs? Um, and yes, it is. Um, there have been cases of dogs being injured. In fact, the plant itself is really, really dangerous to all animals. Uh, the seeds uh, can prove fatal if eaten or consumed. Um, the plant itself is um, it's illegal to cultivate and grow. You, uh, and if you have it on your land and you don't deal with it, you can get a fixed penalty of £100. If you're a business, that can go up to £20,000. And it's classed as hazardous waste. It's pretty nasty. And, and I noticed when I posted online, uh, there were a number of uh, people who were posting pictures of their own injuries from this place. I've got the dogs with me, so I'm not going to go too close, but I will recall them back and they'll go on a lead as we wander close to it. We certainly won't go very close. I'll use a long lens to take photographs of this um, uh, magnificent plant. Just some advice, if you if you are walking up here from East Morling and you've got your dogs loose, make sure you've got good recall and get them back on the lead and recall them way before you get near the, the sort of danger zone. How's that Oscar come? Make sure you use a, 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 a sort of normal rope lead. Don't uh, walk past these plants with your dog on an extendable or a flexi lead because if if the dog just you know wraps around one of the plants and they they are very tall. They, they're, these ones are about 13 feet, some of them, and if they wrap around the lead and then the plant comes towards you, you could be you could be in a few problems. Right, so you can see the pathway on the right, the little footpath there. Then there's a the long grass. And then, and then the hedge, and then along the hedge, you can see the white plants standing really high and tall. Another one there. So, yeah, just along the hedge line, all the way along. Um, there we are. Quite amazing. <clears throat> they like triffids. In fact, they're called the toxic triffid. I don't know whether the author of Day of the Triffids, John Wyndham, got his inspiration from this, this plant. Oh. 